how to turn your Genshin from this to this, or this, or this. We're gonna install the reshade mod, then I'm gonna show you how to configure it. Lastly, we're gonna talk about the optional reflection features. Alright, welcome back guys. It was all going good, yeah? Many of my older subscribers were playing Genshin with the mod, but then one day... Galagon! Alright, fine. I got your back. So, without much further ado, let's get started. You're gonna first download this reshade injector, and it'll contain these two suspicious looking files. Anyway, choose any hard disk or SSD or whatever, and just create a folder there, like I said. Reshade. U -W -P. You're gonna wanna copy these files over there, but uh, before let's create another folder here by the name of Genshin Impact Reshade. Now we're gonna copy those files here. Alright, now we'll download my preset pack and you're gonna find these inside. Let's go copy the script first. You're gonna paste it to that folder we just created a while ago. Now go back and copy the Risha Shaders folder. Now copy the presets folder. Alright, we need the modded injector DLL file. Without this, the effects won't work, so yeah. Copy the file and paste it here, replacing it. Good job. Now we need to edit this script. We are going to edit this uh, according to how you have set up your game's location. I'll show you how. We need to edit two locations here. One is the game's location and another one is the injector location. First let's fix the injector location. Edit the first location according to how the path directory of the injector is set up. For example, I have D, reshade UWP, and I have to enter a space there, making it look exactly how it is. Genshin, impact, reshade. There, see, now it matches exactly with the directory. Alright, after that's done, we're gonna set up the location of the game's launcher. Uh, see, my game is here in the Genshin Impact, and here's the launcher. If you don't do this correctly, it's not gonna work. After we are all done setting it up, we shall save it and close it. Now this calls for like a very important step. This step will guarantee that this mod works out. 
plus you're gonna get endless good luck for those 5 star characters and weapons you want. So do exactly what pops up in this void. Uh, what's that? A subscription? Okay, now right click and run with PowerShell. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do you see at the top of the screen? Reshade is installed. Now, if you followed me exactly as I did, then this is how you'll be greeted. You're gonna press the home key on your keyboard to open up its menu. Then skip the tutorial. You can select presets there, but before that we need to help Reshade find our shaders. You can toggle the mod on or off anytime using a certain key you set up here. Next, you can switch between presets using keys you can set up here. Let's turn the transition delay down a little bit. Uh, sounds good enough. Now we shall add the shader path here. To add, press on the plus sign and navigate to the shader folder. Do the same for the textures path. Now go back and reload reshade. There, we have all shaders shown here. Let's go pick a preset. I'm gonna go, let's see, select it and there we go, we have the shaders being used for this preset turned on. We can turn off reshade and switch between the presets using those keys we assigned earlier. Ok, let's go in game and check it out. Alright, yeah, good job, you have done it. Reshade is working really well now. Next step it's Time to talk about the reflections. Alright, so first of all, I'm just gonna say that there are two types of reflections. One uses a paid shader called the RTGI shader. The second is a free alternative, the screen space reflections shader. I'm gonna show you how both work, but I suggest that you try the SSR shader first and see if you like it. And then if you want to maximize the quality with bounced lights and reflections, then yeah, you could go for the RTGI shader as well and use both together at the same time. Alright, let's show you how we can turn on the reflection presets when we want it. This is how it's gonna be like, right? Let me switch to the normal one. Now these standard ones also have optimal reflections in them, but they don't really focus a lot in it. This is to make sure things look as natural as possible. I mean. We wouldn't really want the stone pavement to have glass-like reflections now, would we? Now, if you want to boost the place though while taking a screenshot or something, then yeah, you could change and use the reflective preset. Let's see how. Alright, see, there are two variations here. The RT is the paid one and the SSI is the free one. If you don't have the RT shader, then don't bother using the RT ones because it's not gonna work. So yeah, let's use this as the first. See, uh, see this? The reflections over there so yeah this is pretty much ssr work it's really intensive so kind of makes the floor look like a glass uh, now let's showcase the rt1 so as you can see the rt1 doesn't make the floor too glassy but kind of adds this smooth bounced light reflection to it let's show you how it is at night time now Alright, so this is the base night mode. It has this subtle reflection to it, but it's not much. 
the base ones can also be used without the artificial by the way see if i turn it off it doesn't really do that much just a little bit of bounce lighting and ambient occlusion yeah so it's fine i think now let's pick a reflection one let's go to um the rt shader first so this is how it is now let's check the ssr one right so you see this this is how it looks if you have both the rt shader and the ssr one then you can turn both together for a look like this now these are not the final looks of the pizzas by the way because i'm always making further improvements to these and the little colors are separately being configured one thing to note though by the way that if you do use reflections then please just use it in the you know towns or inside buildings if you use the reflection moon in the wilderness and grassy areas then it's gonna make things look really 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 bad and i mean really bad it'll look too grainy and noisy so yeah keep that in mind So yeah, with that said, this is it. Thank you for watching and being with me till now and I hope this video was quite helpful to you. So I'll see you later and till then, hope you enjoy. Put your head on my shoulder.